Hey, sports <laughs> fans, how are you? So good to see all of you. We're so glad you could come here into our dining room. <laughs> <laughs> the room of misery. <laughs> I'm sorry. We were just oh, we've not a had a good talk. Yes, that's right. We haven't we've, talked to each other in 15 minutes. We've got so much catching up to do. And this day has not been one for the history books either. But <laughs> well, we're going to make it worth your while for the next 30 minutes. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Well, the mail continues to roll in. And, and of course, everything started wrong today when poor Doris couldn't be here today. Oh, where is Doris today? I don't today? know, but you know, we can hardly operate without She's the woman. She's gone again, and we miss her. Well, this uh, this personage uh, sent us, who is this? This is uh, Teresa Furlow from Lehigh Acres, Florida. And she said, I owed you a three-cent stamp, so I'm sending a three-cent stamp. Thank you. <laughs> and I watch you guys every week. And it just and it says, why the changes on when she watches this? Well, honey, we wish we could come right down there to Florida and tell them how to run their TV station, but they don't allow us to do that. So uh, just talk to your local station if they change the schedule and have messed yours up. Now, this is an interesting one. This one I'm going to have to show you. It says, I guess they know you in Roanoke. We got this one at the station. This is from Edna Cole of Chatham, Virginia, and it's merely to cook and cheap Roanoke, Virginia. And it got here. Uh -huh, Cook and see Virginia. Uh -huh. They love us at the post office. No address necessary. And uh, this one is addressed. This is from uh, uh, Mrs. Rosemarie Quazo. Oh, Rosemarie. In Manassas, Virginia. And she has addressed this letter to Cook and Cheap Studio 610. <laughs> <laughs> but no, well, yeah. this is the, the studio. Uh, and she says, I thoroughly enjoy your program. I assume this is a part-time endeavor, and with the budget you have, you do a good job. Rosemary, it definitely is a part-time in endeavor. We'd be on food stamps and every other known federal, state, and local program if we tried to exist on the money that we get for doing the show. Boy, isn't that the truth? You have spoken a big mouthful bucks uh, <laughs> of dollars. <laughs> Teresa Furlon, I believe it is, of Lehigh Acres, Florida. We've never yeah. received one from there, have oh, we? Oh, yeah. I just read from, a letter from her right from here. From Lehigh Acres? <laughs> yeah. This is the one. Well, she's, she's the one that sent us the, uh, yeah, she's the one that just sent us the uh, three cent stamp. You mean she's been writing again? She's been writing again. She sounds like she knows us right well. She says, my dearest guys, Ooh. I love your show and I'll eat anything you guys cooked. Uh, your cooking is okay with me. I love you, Larry and Johnson. Oh. I think that's well <laughs> she loves me a little better. I'm on a first name yeah, basis. Yeah. And, it, and it says, P.S. I watch you every Tuesday at noon here in Florida. We girls love you both. Thank you. Ooh, this asks me like you've been having an affair through right the U.S. Below. mail. Oh, I got one more here uh -huh. from Cecilia. Cecilia, yeah. you're breaking my heart. <laughs> Herman of Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, for those of you on the West Coast who don't know anything <laughs> but California, and what a shame. Can you tell me why my rice pudding always curdles? <laughs> if you have a recipe, I would appreciate it. Thank you from the lovely and semi-voluptuous Cecilia Herman of Washington, D.C. Well, Cecilia, I think you probably got hold of a bad load of rice there, and it just curved. No, you're probably cooking it at, at too high a temperature. Yeah, with the with the uh, cream or whatever yeah. is in there. That that'll happen sometimes. Mm -hmm. Cecilia, you behave yourself. Let's go over yeah. to the the old Ooh. kitchen. Good grief! Oh goodness, Bly, they got the table too close to the wall today. <laughs> you ever heard such hardly... running in your life? I know I haven't. Oh, oh, Lord, I hope this has, oh, way. Lord, this is almost boiled totally oh, out. No. We've been sitting Throw around for a while. I'm a We're throw doing some potato in. recipes today. <laughs> I well, had to start, cooked down, I you? was going to say, I had to start mine <laughs> a little in advance. Uh, do you have, a, you have a fairly long recipe, don't you? Well, sort of, yeah. Well, let me let me just start, because I've got a lot of tedious stuff here. Already. And uh, I'm doing scalloped potatoes, which uh, you can buy frozen and already done up, but this is a fine recipe, and you can do it yourself, so I've got some potatoes that I peeled and I'm going to cut them in with this little tiny little mandolin that I've showed before on the air. It's a little cheap thing and it's just wonderful. It slices, it dices. And I'm going to cut them in, oh, I don't know, quarter inch or, or thinner slices and I'm going to cut enough to fill up my little uh, casserole dish over here. So many people think potatoes come this way instantly. I've got one cooking in the uh, oven. All right. Or are you smelling something bad? I'm smelling something. Uh, Mama, you say it was your upper lip. 
It smells very familiar. It smell from the latter 60s. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, you mean... Uh, I believe an old cord is burning up oh, down here. Some no. old rope or something. I don't know what... Are you doing rope ha vila? Uh, whatever that... <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's all right. I'll get over it. Now back to Laban. Oh. Well, that's a slick little trick there, I tell you. That thing is. Well, you have to watch your finger because well, you yes, slice into your thumb. Down but, to your epidermis. But this thing is, you know, we can't afford a food processor. And this does the trick. I can afford a food processor. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you all, you know, I, I could afford more if you'd buy more books. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, now I've no, sliced up really, about but, three you know. potatoes and I'll get the onions. Now, you need a casserole for this and you want to butter it up. Ooh. And I'm going to use all of this butter right here. I so can't I'm, believe it's butter. I'm going to uh, use the paper off in here to butter it up. Ooh. An artifact. Well, that's a pretty neat idea. Mm -hmm. I always just take a little dab of it and get in there with my fingers and just well, smoosh know, it around. You know, they, they don't have all the little niceties like paper towels back here. Uh -huh. And you do need to grease your casserole. Now, once you've greased that, we're going to start putting this little dish together and put yourself a layer of potatoes in here. It's like dealing cards. Yeah. And then uh, we'll do some. Larry, I'll just go on to you because this is a kind of a tedious little job here. Okay. What I'm doing, what I, I've just started doing while he was doing what he was doing is I just started doing what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is some apples right now. I'm just sort of peeling the outsides off and getting the uh, seeds off and what have you. I'm going to do something called sweetie pie potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> sweetie pie potatoes. And what you do is you just come up with a couple of uh, sweet potatoes, just ugly old sweet potatoes, and just uh, cut the ends off of them and peel them up real good and take the outsides off of them. You don't want all that dirt and filth. And I, I just have my old potato peeler here. And as you can see, it's pretty slick. It's, it's real easy to do. And just peel that off. We're going to do two or three of them. Now, the wonderful thing about this recipe is you can, what we're going to prepare is enough to, for two or three people, but you can vary the recipe as you want to and sort of have a little fun with it, have at it. Now, what you do next is, you take these potatoes and you cut them in about, let me wash this off a little, excuse me. It needs to be washed off a little now that I've got the oh, outside Oh, you don't know where it it's been. <laughs> Mr. Johnson just grew a rather large, oh, excuse me. Ah. Did that get down your back? <laughs> now what you do is you take this potato and you cut it in about quarter inch slices, just like so. And I'm just doing it with my finger if you feel relatively secure in doing this, it's fine. If you don't, I would suggest that you do it another way, like on a cutting board, because these things are a tad little bit hard, and sometimes, boom, they'll go right through there, and that's just awful. But as you can see, I feel relatively secure, and so I'm cutting them this way. Now, when you do that, what you do is you take them and you dump them in here. Oof, well, and are, there they are. Isn't that amazing? You are a professional cook, too, aren't well, you? Well, yes, that is true. That is true. And what you do is you'll put this in a... Uh, you'll put it in uh, uh, a uh, half uh, a stick of margarine and a half a cup of cider. I've just got some good old cider here. And we're down in cider country. Yes. This is definitely cider country because here in the state of Virginia, we do indeed grow an awful lot of apples. And this really is a Virginia cider, I'm oh. happy to say. Sometimes we say things like that. So anyway, we put some cider in there and we start boiling these potatoes just open right in there. And then we're also going to put in a couple of other things, a half a stick of margarine. And so I'm going to I'm going to put a half a stick of margarine in there. And you're just going to kind of boil this on top mm -hmm. of the stove. Just You know this is going to be good. And the other thing we got to get in right away, and then I'll stop and let you do some more, and then I'll do some more, and then you can do some oh, more, and then good. I'll do some more, and then maybe the show will be over when we go home, is uh, I'm <laughs> going to open up some uh, brown sugar, and we're going to need... Brown sugar! Uh, he does that every time I mention brown sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar. Half a cup. Measure very carefully. Half a cup. There it is. Put that in there and boil it with it, too. Now, why are you waiting for all that to, to get to the sedimentary stage? The sedimentary. <laughs> I thought I'd throw that in and see if you're paying mm. attention. Now, while you're doing that, take some ordinary cooking apples. 
And I have these little, these little apples like these are good cooking apples. You can get the green ones too. Don't get those great big sweet ones because they'll fall apart in no time at all. These are cooking apples. And what we'll start doing is we'll start cutting those up and peeling them. And then we're going to put them in little bitty peels. And we're going to peel those in there. I'm going to wash these. And I'm going to add those while we get back to Mr. Johnson. Now, I have got uh, my little casserole here. And I've layered a layer of potatoes, and I've put a little bit of uh, butter or a margarine there, and also some little onion slices. And now I'm going to sprinkle about a tablespoonful of flour in there, and put a little bit of salt, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to sift uh, some pepper in there, too. Now, if you want to do this real fancy, you probably use white pepper because it won't make a bigger mess. And now you can add all kinds of little surprises down under here. Uh-oh. And like crumbled bacon besides the onions. But I thought I'd put just a little bit of cheese down through here. What kind is that? that this is That's just real some severe looking cheese. Some Colby that uh, uh -huh. somebody left at my house after a party. <laughs> Yeah. That's true. <laughs> oh, well, that's yeah. so that poison cheese. Uh, I left <laughs> and now I, I will put in another layer. And uh, as you do it, you want to tamp them down a little bit. You know, this is not where, this is not a dump cake recipe. You need to take not a, what? a dump cake, you know, where, where you just throw everything in. I never heard that term. Well, have you ever seen one of those dump cakes that, you know, where it's got all that pudding mix and mess in it? And, hmm. and you just want to repeat this layering process. and these uh, little mill ends off the potato are good in the corners if you've got a funny little dish here. And you just keep building this up just like potato chips uh, until you're ready. Now let's put in another layer of onion here. And I just, you know, I slice my onions on my little thingy over there and I pull them apart so that you don't get any real big heavy duty thick slices of onion down in it. And there goes a little more onion. That ought to be enough in here. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing and put a, a little more flour on it. And a little more salt sprinkled around. Just a little bit. You don't want to have too much. Oh, they're giving the vampire signal again. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Woof, says Sandy. One of them signaled to me the end of the earth a minute ago, but I didn't believe oh, it. Oh, well, I'm so glad. And now I'm going to put a little more cheese. All right, Bly, mm -hmm. it's back to you. Okay, well, I have uh, done some cleaning work here while we were away because I just needed to. All right, now we take a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're going to add to this. Now, just take a look at this. This is just pretty. There's just no way this thing could be bad with all this this goodness and I'm just going to sprinkle drown in there just a little bit use your imagination a little bit doesn't have to be exactly a whatever and a it this says a quarter of a cup of nutmeg oh no now I just seriously I just I meant a quarter of a teaspoon I'm real sorry Lee, but I didn't mean to do that oh no. you did to <laughs> cast asparagus on yeah, my fine recipe by heavens, I'm sorry it's the first time I've looked at this recipe ladies and gentlemen I knew he had thrown something in on me just the same amount of nutmeg. Woo, doesn't that smell good? Nothing wrong with that. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to, I hesitate to say this because that person that wrote that big article at Big National Magazine last year will come down on us again. One of them big fancified magazines up in New York wrote an article on our show and said that all we knew how to do is open cans, and that's a, a false lie. It is not true at all. None of these potatoes came out of a can. These apples didn't come out of a can. These yams didn't come out of a can. And furthermore, no, I'll get off. Did this thing move? It did, just a little. Anyway, now I do have, however, a can of, and I wouldn't have had to have even used cans on these because Mr. Johnson, last week, was it last week that you showed us the uh -huh. pineapples that you can get now just in the big blob in the bag, and you just take them out and cut them up. But I'm not going to do that. Now, Mr. Johnson, I need to ask you something at this uh -huh. point. Do I drain these? Uh, yes. Okay. Do I lay these in just, just full, just lay them in full there. force uh -huh. right on top of it? All right. Yes. Now, here you can see the lovely presentation of it. Oh, don't put your knife in the pan. Oh, she'll get over it. 
There you go. I'm going to cover these, though you don't have to, because I want to make sure it all gets done and tastes real good, too. So I'm going to cover these in just a little bit. But you wouldn't have to now. I'm just doing it because it's TV, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that pretty? Now, this dish, Mr. Johnson himself, in, didn't you tell me you invented this yeah. yourself? Mm -hmm. This is a Johnsoni special. Isn't that pretty? And that's just it. And what you do then is you cook until the fruit is tender and heated thoroughly through, and you can just serve it just like that. Isn't that pretty? It's just lovely. It really is. Now, Lair, my yeah. dish. It's Ooh, it, it certainly is. A lot of mess here. Anyway, now, I've taken the better part of a stick of margarine. You need a whole stick to, to do this with, but I'm not using quite as much. The last thing you do uh, is to add some milk to it, and I've got about a cup and a half or a cup and a quarter of milk, and you want to put all of that in there, and you're going to bake this at... Um, 350 degrees for an hour and a half. Needless to say, we are not baking this one for an hour and a half because we're not going to be one of those things where it turns around. Although, and, and you know, <laughs> we may need to describe no, an no, hour no, no, and a half's worth. No. Oh, okay. We're going to have a test now. Oh, okay. We're go where does the potato come from? You mean the white potato no, or the, the yam? Potato. The potato. The potato's original origins. Yes. Uh, what? Ireland. No, chump, it doesn't come Ireland. from Ireland. Ireland, right. says Ireland. Where did they come from before they came to Ireland? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. They came from, no, they came from the New World. They came from South America, high in the Andes Mountains of Peru. Not Peru, Indiana, but Peru, South America, hmm. south of the border. Hmm. And the Inca Indians are the first ones to cultivate the the potato down there and they still do which is a good thing because you know when we hybridize vegetables mm. and all this kind of stuff it loses a lot of the flavor and what happened with the potato is that we we've, we've grown them over and over and over and we've hybridized them and now they're having to go back and cross pollinate our current modern potatoes with these little Peruvian potatoes so that we've got get the flavor back. Hmm. And the Peruvian potatoes come in all sizes and colors. Oh, you, yeah. Mm. You know, pink, blue, green, honest, yellow. They come in all kinds of, listen to this. Oh, we got a staff around here that doesn't appreciate a good uh, lecture when they get one. And they'll live in ignorance. Now, I lived in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, and no. my family, no, they did. They came to, fa uh, to uh, Maryland, my grandfather, uh, great-grandfather Johnson did because of the potato famine. Hmm. Uh, his uh, well, family... Well, don't look like it hurt you any. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> no, his, his family uh, came to, to this country from Ireland because everybody was starving to death. The potato was taken back from South America to the old world, uh, Europe, and it soon became one of the staples of foods because it was easy to grow until they had started having the disease and the famines and the people started dying off because they didn't have anything to eat. They'd cultivate the potato salt. Listen to them. Well now, Mr. Potato Head, tell yes. me this. Uh-huh. What's the difference between a yam and a sweet potato? Very easy. They come from two different... I got it this right. time. No, 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 no. Uh, a sweet potato is a, a form of yam and it is an African vegetable that was brought to the New World by, uh, by slaves uh, during the trading periods, and they brought uh, some of their food with them, and the yam came from Africa. The yam is a, uh, a much uh, tougher kind of sweet potato. What, what you've got in there is, oh, you got any more of those left? All right. Yeah, I do. That is really, those are really yams. These. Those are really yams. The sweet potato, as we know it, are, is frequently the little tiny thing that you get in the cans. They have a whole different kind of texture to them when they cook. Hmm. They're real fibrous. So, um, and they make real fine pies. We're going to have a sweet potato pie at my house this weekend. Ooh, for I love those things. Mm -mm. Let's take a look at our recipes. Yes. And then we'll take a look at what we're cooking today because it's just about ready, almost ready for serving. All right, the scalloped potatoes, you need uh, four cups of thinly sliced potatoes, a stick of margarine, 
two to three tablespoons of flour, and some additional surprises like uh, chopped onion or sliced onion or sliced onion, uh, chopped bell peppers, uh, crumbled bacon that you cooked up, uh, and one and a quarter cups of milk and salt and pepper to taste. And the sweetie pie potatoes. Oh dear, we did. <laughs> well, we have a correction to make, but that's all right. It's 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 our fault, ladies and gentlemen. The problem is not with your television. Oh. We have a cup of sliced apples. Ah. <laughs> a cup of sliced pineapple, half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. That is not a cup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry half a stick of butter, and a half a cup of cider. And don't forget, of course, several sweet potatoes. I forgot to mention that entirely. You cook it all up, it's just delightful. I've had this stuff on uh, covered up a little bit here, and it's been cooking along while we've been talking, and I'll just show it to you, because right. it's getting right where it's going, and boy, does it oh, ever. It, it looks to me like it's Ooh, ready. It does smell good. Everything's mm, just marvelous. Does, of course, does. it's just nothing you can do wrong with cinnamon and nutmeg and such. Right. And How is here, yours looking, here John? is the dish that I did up yesterday, and you should cook it until everything in it is just lightly browned around the edges. This was gorgeous yesterday. It's kind of looked a, looks a little bit overdone now, but it's not really. But it'll it'll crust around the edges, and when those um, potatoes on top begin to get brown around the tops, a little nice brown, then it's done. So start watching it up after it's cooked for about an hour and 15 minutes. Well, I guess it's time for a flyby. Yes, by we need the to, very lovely Miss Witch is here. Witch do kitchen, and she said that she did have a letter for us today and a surprise. So, oh, uh, how wonderful! Miss Witch uh, will be uh, bringing our Coming letter in. in. She's I, getting I clearance just, right now. Yes. She's getting clearance from the local uh, airport, and just as soon as she has, oh, here she. Oh my! <laughs> My gracious! Oh, this oh, is no. this is really something. Now, Talk about your big beak. I she's mean, really. giving us the bird. <laughs> oh my heavens! And, oh, and a beautiful bird it is too. A I might two can add. and two Wah! can do what you oh, can do. Oh my right. heavens! There, there they go. Air oh, memories. Do you the reckon they'll fly around together for a while? Well, well, what do you got? Well, they have sent it in on a tablecloth cover. Hmm. Well, anyway, dear gentlemen. Yeah. I don't feel so good today, so I thought I would write to ask you uh, to ask if you will be cooking my favorite dish soon. Oh, for I really sake. hope you will. Guess what it is? <laughs> and it's signed Marvin Baby the Beef Veilson. <laughs> well, Marvin, I guess so. I mean, if you really want to hear about veal, next week we'll we'll do veal. Veal be doing. Yeah, veal be doing. Next week on the show. All well, right. I guess it's time for us to take this All thing right. off of the thing. And I. It should I'll be done this, by now. This Woo! pothole over here. That looks so good and it smells even better. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good idea to start out with at least two minutes left in the show. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have plenty. No, no, no. Because you see here on the table, Larry, since we're doing vegetables today, we're, we've used a special table called oh, that Doris right. got for us so that you can not live in ignorance anymore. It has oh. pictures of all these vegetables and things right well, here nothing will ever on help the table. That, Laban, so don't worry about it. Right. Here, I'll just, oh right. well. Here, let me give you. All righty. Now, isn't this lovely? This is just so pretty. It's a mm -hmm. gosh darn pretty. I just don't want to even eat it. It's so lovely. Oh, but eat but it. I reckon I will anyway. You know, there's just no such thing as a bad potato, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean that. I love potatoes in every form. Mm -hmm. Nothing you can do with it. Mm. Oh, well, Laban, here, I'm sorry. We well, have, I thought perhaps you were ashamed of your dish have, and you didn't want to. Well, it's your dish, Laban. <laughs> if I messed it up, it's not my fault. What does that mean? I don't anyway. know. Oh, but these scallop potatoes are out of this world. Oh, they world. are. They're wonderful. I love scallop potatoes, mm -hmm. and these are fabulous. Get three of these together if you're going to do it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is mighty good. Those potatoes and everything. Well, I tell oh. you, it's just been taters on taters. And these dishes are so mm -hmm. easy to fix. Mm -hmm. Go home, do it right now. Get in the kitchen, cook them. You'll enjoy them. Well, if they're watching, they probably are home right now. Oh, no, I thought they were all standing in the department store watching. I think I'm going to go home. Oh, me That's, too. I think is what I'm going to do What a day. Now. 
See you soon. A lot of potatoes. Goodbye.